So here's the protrusive dental pearl for this episode. Remember at dental school where they taught us to use three fingers to assess whether your patient has trismus or not. So remember, if you use your three fingers uh, and you check and they can open three fingers, then that's great. And if they can open less than two fingers, so you make it in your notes, okay, one finger, two finger, three finger. But one thing they forgot to tell you uh, is that it's not your fingers, right? Uh, it's the patient's fingers. So for example, uh, I remember back in the day, I used to use my three fingers and a petite lady would come along and my three fingers had no chance of fitting inside her mouth, right? Uh, so unless you're a petite lady, then it's not gonna work either. So remember, it's, it's the patient's three fingers, not your three fingers. But how can we make this more objective? How can we check the maximum opening more objectively? Well, the easy answer is use a ruler, right? Use a ruler. Uh, and sometimes what I like to use is one of these. I'm hoping you can see this. There we are. It's from Great Lakes. Uh, it's called a range of motion scale. So this is a pretty cool thing to use. Um, I'll put a little video in the background as I'm speaking about how I use this. The other thing you can do, which is pretty clever, is you, how about you calibrate your three fingers? Calibrate your three fingers, just like, get a ruler, measure how, uh, fat your three fingers are. And so you know that, hey, your three fingers are 38 millimeters or whatever. And that can give you some form of a gauge, basically. So that's my protrusive dental pearl. When you're checking for your maximum opening, be objective, use the patient's fingers, or at least uh, use a, a measurement tool like a ruler or uh, this uh, range of motion scale. Now, when would you want to check the, the opening range, when is it important? Well, before any complex dentistry, I think it's important. Uh, I like to do it as part of my new patient protocol because it will be the difference between me referring that patient for a molar root canal versus me doing myself, right? Because remember, easy dentistry on a difficult patient is still difficult. So mm -hmm. I've struggled the most when I'm doing posterior restorations on a rubber dam on people with limited opening. So it's an important factor. You should be screening for it, I think. So it's a good thing to, to know. Uh, but also, if you're doing any splint work, then you'll find that actually when you make patients splints, their range of motion can actually improve. So typically, you can, it's, it's, you know, it's not uncommon to get four to five millimeters plus, depending on where they started, of increased um, mouth opening. So it's, it's important to be able to objectively show that because sometimes patients might come back and they think, you know what, I don't think this is working because maybe they didn't have that many symptoms to begin with, right? And, and you're giving the appliance for more protective reasons rather than to help them with pain. But if you say to the patient, hey, you know, before you were open, opening at 42 millimeters and now you're opening at 47 millimeters, it's important, it all counts. So that's my little tip for you today. So as part of making this episode and scripting this episode, I listened back to part one. So AMSA part one, I listened to that again. So hey, if you've ended up here by accident, you've just discovered my podcast and you thought, hey, let me click on this latest episode. It'd be really cool if you went back to the episodes in September, listen to the entire Splint Timber series, but particularly AMSA part one. So that today's episode sort of builds on AMSA part one. Hey, if you enjoyed this snippet from the Protrusive Dental Podcast, be sure to check out the full episode on www.protrusive.co.uk. It's also available on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon, you name it, it's everywhere. Also on YouTube. So check out the content if you like it, please share it with a friend. Thank you.